Hey you! Before I continue, can you please like and subscribe the video? We're a small community growing rapidly. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Let's talk about two strokes and routine maintenance tips. Owning a dirt bike <coughs> is much like having a child. It requires love and attention, unlike cars, where you can ride for thousands of miles without doing much in the way of maintenance. Dirt bikes require constant maintenance. Those thinking of jumping into the sport should know that after every ride, some type of maintenance is required <coughs> to ensure the longevity of the bike. Many riders embrace this aspect of ownership. Others find the detail work a bit of a hassle. Whatever camp you lie in, we can all agree we'd much rather be out riding than stuck in a garage wrenching all day or fixing down a broken machine. The best way to ensure your dirt bike operates effectively and starts every time you take it for a day out on the track is to perform routine maintenance. This guide oh, covers the routine maintenance needs of the two-stroke dirt bike to help you, the owner, move quickly and efficiently through the process so you can get out of the garage and back on the track and trail. We cover the following sections. Tip number one, cleaning and lubing cables. Cables represent a lifeline to most of the controls of your dirt bike. Throttle and clutch cables and foot brake line all need to be cleaned after a ride out, routinely lubricated. For more information on cables, check out the link below that we'll put for your own perusal. Carefully disconnect the cables from the perch and lever. For throttle cables, disconnect the carburetor end. To clean any buildup around the connections, add some lubrication, reconnect and tighten the connections. The lubrication not only protects the cables from wear and tear, but acts as a barrier to dust and debris. Tip number two, chain and sprocket care. Never ride with a dry chain and sprocket. A lubricated chain is a happy chain that rewards you with long life. Always clean the chains and sprockets after a ride and then follow that with good dousing of lubrication. In the event you see significant wear and tear on your chain or sprockets, replace the whole drive train. See our guide at below on the link. Um, we refer back to some of the parts by... No, we'll put the link. Over to you. Tip number three, air filter maintenance. A dirty air filter sucks the life out of your engine, so it's crucial to ensure the air filter is properly cleaned and maintained. It's a dirty job for sure, but imagine if all that dirt got stuck inside the engine. Clean your air filter thoroughly with cleaner. Dry it well and then soak it with air filter oil. Let it get real tacky before you install it and ride it again. Tip number four, pipe maintenance. The obvious here is to clean the outside of your pipe to prevent rust and corrosion. But an overlooked bit, overlooked bit of maintenance here is the rubber o-ring between the cylinder and the exhaust spigot. Always inspect the seal for cracks or other imperfection, imperfections. If in doubt, replace your old ring. If you find the new ring fits oddly, use some silicone. Make sure it withstands high temperatures, that's very important. To help it secure the seal, Additionally, if you have an aftermarket factory or works raw pipe, pipe it down with, wipe it down with WD-40 after cleaning to prevent rust and corrosion. While you're back there, check out the muffler packaging. The oil fuel mix, two strokes, use can cake oil all over the muffler packing, which results in a loss of power and oil leaks. That is not very good. Tip number five: spoke maintenance and tightening. First, get yourself a spoke wrench, wrench if you don't already have one. The key to tightening your spoke starts with patience. You can't just hazard, hazardly start tightening your spokes. There's a technique involved to ensure the best outcome. We suggest tightening every third spoke, which means you'll go around a tire of minimum three times. Don't over tighten either. Tightening every third spoke until a light snug is reached and if necessary, go back around checking every third spoke again. 
Back to you, Dad. Right, some additional maintenance suggestions from our side. Um, keep an eye on your transmission or gear well. This oil needs changing often and when in doubt it's always best to ride with fresh oil. Um, better transmissions don't take a lot so change it. A great way to determine maintenance intervals is to invest in an hour meter so you know how much time has passed <coughs> since the last time you rebuilt either the top end of your machine or did any clutch maintenance. Check your owner's manual on recommended maintenance intervals, very important. Two-stroke bikes wear out the clutch more than four strokes, so it's especially essential for two-stroke owners to keep an eye on the clutch. Uh, take care of the clutch cable, make sure it's not too tight and slipping. Two-stroke bikes also like to eat spark plugs mm -hmm. quite a lot. Um, yeah, just I think the best is take a spare or two with, with the wrench if you go riding. Bleeding your brakes is a part of maintenance, however, you won't need to uh, address it as often as needs keeping an eye on the brake fluid level is your primary concern. Um, the one thing I want to quickly add is um, I want to welcome Caleb to the channel. He's now doing things with me and I think it's going to get us both out of the box and out of our comfort zone. Um, it's different. Um, I love it, he likes it, so guys, if you love the content, comment, um, any comments welcome, bad comment, good comments, like and subscribe, um, we are still a small channel, we like to grow it, and follow us on our Instagram and our Facebook, that on the Instagram today I posted some work on the KX250, uh, the build is starting on that, <coughs> so if you're just subscribed to the channel, you'll hear about it very much later. Um, make sure you follow us on all three platforms, it's not a lot. And we'll put in random stuff. We are fairly busy every day with one or other thing. And um, that's all from my side. Have you got anything to say? I wanted to say we'll try to reply to all your questions that you have about bikes or rebuilding them. We'll try to make all the videos of the services and that's about it yeah caleb will be doing a lot of work on this rm80 it's got a very nice uh, 1988 rm80 as you can see here uh, in the background um, but yeah um, teaching the young people to actually start wrenching on their own bikes it's awesome and i think um, everybody enjoys it thoroughly until our next video frank's way us bye bye